debunking all the viral foods at Disney California Adventure. First up, Corn Dog Castle. I got a hot link corn dog. It was decent. I'm giving it a 7 out of 10. Next up was Gourmet Coffee. I got a Vietnamese coffee and it was surprisingly very good. I'm giving it a 7 and a half out of 10. Next up was Lucky Fortune Cookery. I got the pork wonton nachos. They looked delicious and I wanted to give them a high rating, but they were a 5 out of 10 for me. The chips were weirdly greasy. However, the ube boba was pretty good. It had a perfect amount of sweetness. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Next up was Cocina Mexican Grill. I got the viral queso barilla tacos and guys, these were not it. Everyone was raving about these tacos and I was so excited to try them, but they were so dry and overly salty. 4 out of 10. Next up was the Hollywood Lounge where I got a patriotic punch. Save your money on this one, guys. It was overly sweet. Not worth it. I give it a 3 out of 10. Next up was Schmoozie's Juice Shop. I got the mango nata smoothie. And I had high expectations for this one because it was the most expensive thing on the menu. It was terrible. Then we got a sriracha turkey leg. It was smoky and had great flavor. However, I didn't taste any of the sriracha. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. And lastly, we got a plain churro. And it was pretty good. I wouldn't say there was anything special about it, though. I'll give it a 6.5 out of 10.